Hi guys, welcome back to Gentleman's Corner. My name is David. <coughs> welcome to another fantastic Friday smoke. Today I'm smoking Sutliff Maple Cavendish, which is going to be next week's review. And uh, so far I have not made up my mind about it. So we'll see how that goes. First, I got to keep it lit. <laughs> A little bit better. Uh, as you can see, I'm smoking into my small church warden, so getting a fairly cool smoke out of it, which is nice. Really get the flavor out of it. So on today's Fantastic Friday, I actually prepared a list of things that I wanted to talk about. Uh, first of all, uh, we're going to start off with some sad news. Most of you have probably already heard. For those of you who have not, I'll go ahead and break the news to you. Uh, McClellan Tobacco has decided to close its doors. Uh, the McNeils have decided that the economy is just not there under the new FDA deeming regulations for them to continue producing. They have said that they will uh, continue to tin what stock they have left uh, but realistically speaking, uh, it's probably not a lot. So what's out there is pretty much going to be what's out there. This is another uh, unfortunate casualty that we've seen from the FDA deeming regulations after Dunhill, um, where the, the McNeils are basically saying it costs too much to have all of their current blends certified and then there's a risk of if they were to cease production for a even a brief period of time because of the lack of availability of a particular leaf um, they might have to recertify the blend uh, in order to resume production and that's just not economically feasible for them so very very sad news um, for those of us who enjoy the mcclelland blends i know personally my very first uh, Latakia blend was Frog Morton's Fro Frog on a Log. So, bittersweet ending, but like I said at the end of um, my review on Peter Stokeby Luxury Twist Flake, at least we still have manufacturers that are still in business. Um, you know, the, the passing of these major brands is very sad, and it's, it's a sign of the times. Um, it really is but there will always be manufacturers who can afford to jump into their place and take over uh, and fill the market. So long as there is market demand, I do believe that the market will satisfy those needs. Now, uh, getting on to <coughs> topics that I have more control over. Um, like I said, next week is going to be the review of Sutliff Maple Cavendish. Uh, I am in the process of trying to smoke through a few bowls so that I have something to say about it. Um, this is not my first. I've actually had this blend for several months and I have been smoking bowls periodically of it. Um, I can't say that I've made it a regular daily smoke, although I don't smoke every day. But... Um, even then it has not made my daily rotation so is that a sign of how I'm going to review it maybe maybe not I, I don't know all right uh, third so I want to add a new genre of videos to the channel I, I say genre it's more of a topic um, so currently the channel has uh, two types of reviews we have the I have the the pipe tobacco review, then there is the closer look, and that is um, sort of like the Kingsman prop review or the, uh, the Dunhill pipe. Those are more of kind of just taking a closer look at things, somewhat reviewing them, but also not. But I want to add a new topic 
to the channel. And this was in the original plan for the channel um, when I very first got started and I kind of got on a tobacco kick um, because that was what I had ready access to. Um, so I wanted to kind of bring back some variety into the channel. Uh, and the new segment is going to be called Gentleman's Essentials. Uh, and what I want Gentleman's Essentials to be is it's going to be a segment where I take a look at common gentleman's products. Or I should say classes of products, types of products, um, and show you how they can be done on a budget and then review a budget item from that category. So I've already got two ideas for this um, that fall into the gentleman's essentials category. The first is um, a briefcase. I feel every good gentleman should have a briefcase um, and not one that you bought at, you know, office, or, you know, <laughs> not a laptop bag, a briefcase, like an attache, uh, a hard sided leather briefcase. I know the current trend is toward like leather shoulder bags that are like computer bags. I tend to think that those look okay, but they're a little too casual. Um, and maybe that's just my profession. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But that's what I tend to think. So, um, and I've already got one that I want to review for you. The other thing that I want to review, and this I posted on the Instagram channel, is the <clears throat> fountain pens. Fountain pens, I feel like, are a gentleman's essential. I feel that every gentleman should own a fountain pen at some point in their life. But I also realized not Everybody can afford a Mont Blanc Messerstück, whatever it is, 149. Is it Messer, Messerstück? Messerstück? Messerschmidt? I don't know. No, that's a gun. Messerstück, yes. Um, not everybody can afford a Mont Blanc fountain pen right off the bat. So, the ones that I have here that I'm going to do for the first Gentleman's Essentials segment. These are three budget versions of fountain pens that I feel are worth your money, worth your investment, um, and they come with three different categories of price ranges, all under $50. The fourth one that you see uh, in this group, this is a ballpoint pen. Um, I know not everybody prefers a fountain pen, it's kind of a niche market. I feel like everyone should own one, but if ballpoint pens are more your speed, I do have one that I recommend that looks very impressive, that I feel is going to get you a lot of respect for using it. And that's also under the $50 mark. So what I want to show you through this is a, an accessory or a gentleman's item that I feel is an essential to a gentleman's lifestyle that can be done within a certain budget range. So, and that's going to vary depending on what the item is. For instance, fountain pens, I feel like up to $50 is probably a fair budget. Um, for a briefcase, I feel like maybe up to $100 is a fair budget. Um, for a portfolio, you know, maybe 50 to 75 is a fair budget. And of course, I'm going to gauge this based on, you know, what I think I'd be willing to spend. Again, I'm a student, um, a grad student, you know, granted, but a student. So I tend to be very careful about what I spend my money on. And I feel like that kind of frugality mixed with the desire to lead a certain lifestyle, um, puts me in a unique position, well maybe not unique, it puts me in an adequate position to make a statement on these topics. So that is a new um, topic that I'm thinking of addressing here on the channel. 
uh, well, I'm not thinking about it, it, it's going to happen. So, but one thing that I would like from you as the viewers is any kind of input that you have um, about items that you think are quintessential to a gentlemanly lifestyle that you think should be up for review. Now, I will say right off the bat, uh, before anyone accuses me of bias in any form or fashion, I don't make any money from these videos. I don't make any money from any of these companies whose products I am reviewing. In fact, these are items I bought myself. They don't send me things to review like they do with some other channels. Um, and I'm not saying that that's a, a, a bad thing. It is great if you are a company and you want to get your product out there and get people talking about it. It's wonderful um, that you can send samples of your product to review channels like mine and have it talked about to however many thousands of viewers um, each video gets. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, my channel is just not big enough to merit that kind of treatment. If you know companies that want to send me free things to review, I'd be more than happy to do it. Um, I would be so happy to do it. Um, and I will always give an honest review. I, I, if I don't like something, you will know it. So yeah, I am not sponsored by any of the companies whose products I'm reviewing. Um, you know, it just so happens that these are products I happen to really, really like, that I really enjoy, that I think are worth your money. Um, and I'll do my best to tell you where you can get them. You know, some of them, it's hit or miss because not every town or every country in the world has the same stores. If I can, I will try to find things on Amazon because I know Amazon, for the most part, ships worldwide. Um, and if I can't find it on Amazon, I'll see if I can find it maybe somewhere else. Um, but I may be asking some of you who are in non-US countries or non-North American countries if there are places that sell items of this type that uh, might be able to deliver to you. But I feel like Amazon is probably a pretty safe bet. So <clears throat> that is a new topic that I want to be covering. Now, by the time that most of you are watching this or notice when it was uploaded, it is morning. As you can see, it is not morning in the video. Why is this? I have an exam tomorrow. And uh, because of that, I am filming this beforehand because I'm not going to have time in the afternoon to uh, sit back and enjoy a pipe and film this fantastic Friday. So hopefully at the time that you're watching this, my Friday is going fantastic. I actually don't know how it's going to turn out because um, I'm not really worried about this exam, but at the same time, I don't really know what to expect. And a lot of my friends are uh, less than helpful in terms of being encouraging about it. So yeah, so um, if you are religious at all, I would appreciate thoughts and prayers, uh, thoughts and prayers. Uh, if you're not, positive vibes. I don't know, I don't know what to ask for for people who are not religious. I'm trying to be all-inclusive here. Um, so yeah, so um, just to kind of recap, McClelland is shutting down. Um, very sad news. Uh, next week I will be posting the Sutliff review, and then also next week I will be posting my very first segment of Gentlemen's Essentials, um, which is more keeping in character and, I guess, aesthetic of what I was expecting this channel to be from the offset. So, <clears throat> but once again, um, if you have any suggestions of things that you would like to see me review, um, tobacco-wise or uh, for the Gentleman's Essentials, um, be it uh, fountain pens, uh, journals, wallets, briefcases, suits, uh, you know, I, I would love to hear some suggestions. Uh, keep in mind I am a student so I do have a set budget uh, and I can't really go outside that budget so 
keep in mind what I'm trying to do is find these budget items. And grant, I will be doing all this research on my own. Uh, I'm not expecting any of you to come up with stellar ideas, but even just like types of things you'd like me to uh, talk about so that I know what you're interested in. Um, and of course, I'm gonna make videos about things I'm interested in. So be on the lookout for those new videos. Uh, be on the lookout for uh, any news that you think I should be aware of in the tobacco world. You know, it's I try to keep abreast of changes and developments, especially with these deeming regulations that are going on. And I, I just, quite frankly, I just don't have the time uh, to read every article. Um, so I kind of rely on you and my Twitter account and my Instagram to kind of keep me informed. Oh, that's another thing. Um, again, if you want to get in touch with me, uh, message me here on YouTube, leave a comment down below, or, or third option, feel free to follow me on Twitter or Instagram. You can find the links in the description box below. Those are the best ways to get in touch with me. I often post polls uh, and questions on there. Um, so just fun ways to keep in touch uh, between videos. But other than that, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you'd like to see more videos from Gentleman's Corner, please hit subscribe. Other than that, I hope you're having a fantastic Friday whenever you are watching this, be it Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or any other day of the week. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video, but until next time, have a great day.